Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft. So I've had a wee look and in order to stop us generating so much heat in the nether we would need to take off a kinetic generator which I just don't want to do. Because even like dropping it down to nothing it still generates heat unfortunately. And uh, yeah, each of these can take a maximum heat of 150. There we go and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the energy shield and we're going to do a wee, a wee test to see how much heat like if these energy shields can like uh, take away a lot of heat so we're going to check that so we're going to need to energy shields do consume energy though how much for the diamond plating? diamond plating oh, it's not diamond it's advanced advanced plating how much do you cost? you cost a lot of diamonds and some invar gears Hmm, I'm not prepared to do that just now. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to make the unattuned test rack frames. Which, as you can see, I've already sorted out everything in my inventory for making this. There we go, Tininga, Tininga, there we go. We can make eight, which is what we need. We've got seven diamonds left. We need to go on a little diamond excursion. So, for eight, it takes. Um, hmm. Yeah, it would, it would take. How many is it? It's four each. Sorry, I'm just spitballing here. So it's it's four four ender pearls for each of the tesseract frames, so that is thirty six. There we go, and dump that there. So it goes, so that's thirty six ender pearls, so we'll dump these in there, these in here. Oh, unfortunately I'm gonna to need to babysit this, aren't we? I hate that these don't stack up to fucking 64. Okay, so that will then fill those up. How are we doing, Mr. Magmatic Engine? You're doing not bad, although we're going to lose a lot of power through this. Uh, not this, through using the Magmatic Engine. What I have found out though is if you stick Nether Rack into the Magmatic Engine and turn it into lava and then pump the lava into a uh, sorry, the my microscope and then pump the lava into magmatic engine. It will make uh, it will generate you more than it uses, which is pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. So one piece of nether rack actually makes a bucket of lava. Oh, so it's got two of them. Yep, and we'll just have to leave that because the liquid transposer takes forever. I think I was actually having a wee look and I can't find anywhere that explains what that little slot there is for, but I think it's for batteries. If I'm not mistaken. Oops, let's just do uh... it. Yeah, like these batteries here, made out of tin, redstone, and coal. Mm, yeah, I think that's what they're for. Or you can make it, you can spawn like an infinite battery in and use that. Oh, bugger off. Um, makeshift battery. Hmm. I take it. I was having a look at this earlier, wasn't I? But I think the the makeshift battery is so that you don't need to make one of these if you've not got diamonds, uh, and then you can upgrade it and stuff. Okay, so we've got another couple to make, and then what do we need from that? Oh, fuck. I just remembered we need a lot of silver. <laughs> God damn your game. And your ridiculous need for silver. Oh shit, we've already got two in the pearls. Oh, we must have found them in our travels. Yeah, man, this, this mod pack has a ridiculous need for silver. In the. In IC2, it's copper and rubber that you tend to need. But at least you can easily farm copper and rubber. Silver, not so much. Um, shit, so my entire plan has been waylaid once more by the need for shit tons of silver. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some more magmatic engines, because we need energy. Um, and that uses Inver. Oh shit, I've done this off, did I? And that uses Inver. How much Inver have we got? Not enough. Uh, okay, so we can grab some Ferris. 
uh, grab some iron and I wonder if I can drop that out, drop that in there and that in there. Yes I can! Hey, perfect. Well, apparently... Oh, it uses more iron than it does ferrous. Alright, okay. And this should make us a lot more invar. Does it use... Is that... Yeah, it does. Alright, okay. So if we remove half of that... 26, 50... Oh, that's right, that's 52. Perfect. So we'll shove that back in, iron then gets in. Sorted, and that should make us Invar, of which we need for our Magmatic Engines. So we need a load of Invar, Invar Gears, fine. And uh, Redstone Transmission Coil, which is silver. Hmm. Fucking should have known, shouldn't have. So we've got five silver. How many do I want? I want maybe one, two, maybe another two. Just let's go with that. Another two. And uh, we need some redstone. Okay, so we need another two. Just one, two. Um, some more invar gears. We need four of these. Oh, I don't have any uh, iron on me. Uh, while we're here, I need cobblestone and what wood. We need some more wood. I think I've used it all. Got wood? I think it might be in here actually. Oh, there we go. Some spruce. There we go, sorted. Um, okay, so we need... One, two, three, four... Ah, shit! <laughs> I had a twitch and fucking clicked up one extra time. Ah, you know what, let's make another one. There we go, because I don't want Invar Gears kicking them out, so I don't know what they're used for. There we go, we'll make six. Um, we need some pistons now. One, two, three. And we need... That's it. Three magmatic engines. Perfections. Uh, okay, so we'll remove these because we don't need them anymore. Remove those and we'll leave the, the old liquid duct sitting there. We'll plonk that down, that down and that down. Plonk that there, twist it round, sorted. Won't all use excreting. I need some waterstone cobbleproof. Waterstone cobbleproof pipes. Indeed. Uh, that's what we need. Fucking, let's see if we've got any waterstone cobbleproof pipes. We've got cobblestone waterproof pipes, but no waterstone cobbleproof ones. <laughs> Christ. Oh shit. No. There we are. And these should all just fire up straight away. Perfect. Well, as soon as they get lava, that is. And we are draining something rotten. So I should just start ridiculously going. And uh let's fire this back on, eh? So they will not be there's no way in hell they'll be able to keep up with that. And uh, we still need God damn it. Everything is really relying on the blaze. As soon as we can get some blaze rods then we will be able to uh, make an ender tank and start getting lava from either the nether or the overworld. Um, if we can make... I need like a, a, a block loader or something like that though if I'm mining from the overworld. I'll need to, a world anchor. Is world anchors in this game? In this mod pack? No. There's a world sensor card though. That's what we'll do while we're, while we're messing about just now. We will make a... One of these interdiction matrixes, matrices, we need ender chest. Fucking fuck! <laughs> everything requires blaze rods. Absolutely everything. What the speed of this though? Isn't that impressive? I do enjoy seeing this go. It is, uh. You creeper, I've met your match! Pew! Fantastic fucking creepers. Alrighty then. Uh, so, what are we gonna do? It's like, 
everything's been held back by this blaze rod, which is an absolute freaking nightmare. Um, and I don't want to go back into the nether because, as you've seen, we're not doing so well on the old nether. Um, and last time we went through it killed me. We're going to say that was a death. Um, obviously, I cheated a little bit. But, uh, like, it was, either it was either cheat or you got to see me die and then have to try and get my stuff back from the nether, which would have been an absolute nightmare. So, uh, so yeah, that didn't happen. What's this stuff? Oh, that's the stuff that makes you pissed. Poison, weakness, and nausea. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah, we've still got a lead shielding on. Oh, that's what I was wanting to check. I was wanting to check. Oh, yeah. God. I was thinking, I was wanting to check to see whether the. I've heaten up too much, done damage to us, and that could be offset by the uh, the plating, but I can't check that because uh, if that can be offset by the energy shield, but I can't check that because obviously in order to check that we would need to, oh there's like a, a little tunnel down here, a wee tunnely, tunnely do that, a wee tunnely system -y. there's a bat, wow this goes pretty deep. Hmm. Oh, very interesting. Uh, excuse me. I want to get through that. No, I want to dig that out. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Let's just uh, remove the jetpack control. Ah, okay. Oh, well, that was fun. So this goes right underneath our quarry, which is funny. Oh, we'll I'll just uh, fly out of this. He's got an enchanted leather helmet, that's interesting. So yeah, so we're basically being waylaid by both silver right now. Oops, wrong one. Uh, by both silver and... Phew, and the fact that we can't get any blaze rods. Hmm. It's an absolute nightmare. It's like you're always uh, like resource scarce. There's always something that you're resource scarce on and unfortunately it's the blaze rods and the silver. So what we're gonna do, I'm so I'm racking my brain right now to think of both ways to get silver easier and ways to get blaze rods. In previous iterations of Tekka you had the uh what do you call it? The equivalent exchange two which gave you that fantastic um, equivalent exchange. Uh, what was it called? Con not a condenser. The box that you could use to change anything and anything else, which was fantastic because you could just stick things into it and get whatever the hell you wanted. Yeah, like that uses so much power. The quarry. Um, how much is almost? I think this uses forty. A tick. Yeah, it's forty a tick. So I'm actually going to tone this down so that the max output is 40 a tick. And we'll see, I think these output 4. 4, four yeah. So that's not really going to, we're only at like 16 per tick. And it's outputting 40 a tick. So the, the quarry is constantly going to use up the, uh, every piece that we're getting. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, I've had a I've had a look on the uh, not enough items, and the only way to get silver is by mining it, and the only way to get blaze is by killing them. Which is an absolute nightmare. Oh, I forgot to say, I got a I got a creeper head. Uh, it was I actually got sucked up by my quarry. It must have been while I was just like shooting creepers. My quarry uh, sucked up, which was quite funny. Um, I kind of want to remove some of this cobs. Oops. So let's uh, let's just pop as much cobblestone as we can out of here, and uh, we'll just throw it down this hole. Actually, what we we'll use is we we'll use uh, if you flick over to utility mode, you put delete mode, 
so I can just delete it by clicking on it. You really need to watch what you click on though because it is very possible to delete stuff that you don't want to. What I could use is I could use a void pipe. Hey, that's what we can do. There we go. That's how we can uh, we can end this episode off. As we can make a void pipe. Uh, void transport pipe uses ink sac, glass, and redstone. Uh, so I've definitely got ink sacs somewhere. Is it in here? Oh shit! I need to turn it back on. There we go. Uh, ink sac. Nope, no ink sacs in there. So it must have been. Must have flung them in one of these chests when I had nothing. Yeah, there we go. Redstone and glass. I need. Did I? Oh no, I've got a piece of glass there. So that's a uh, glass in the middle, ink sac on the left, and the redstone on the right makes me void transport pipes. Also need some diamond transport pipes. Have I made any of them yet? No, I have not. So this is me just getting into the start of my. Uh, Uh, sorting system. There we go, pop that in there. I'm not making some glass, we only really need one piece of glass right now. There we go. So we want that there and diamonds on either side and that makes us eight. Actually, is there any... Oh, I could just push R and get them all out, that's pretty good. Diamonds. Not a diamond conductive, a diamond transport. Is there any other way to make them? No, that's it. And um, there used to be a a better way to make them than that, but there isn't anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the quarry off right now, and uh, six. Wow, there's still stuff coming through. There we go. I'll just pop this out here and stick a diamond pipe there. And we want our void pipe here. Void pipes, anything that goes into them will be deleted, basically. Oh, don't want a void pipe there. Uh, okay, so we want to go on this and outside, out the green side, we want uh, cobblestone. Whatever it is. There we go, cobblestone. There we go, so out of the green we want cobblestone. And now what happens is whenever anything gets mined, it comes to this transport pipe and the cobblestone will just get at the void pipe and done. So now you should see that when this is on, uh, you won't see any cobblestone coming this way. I should also probably do dirt as well, shouldn't we? When you think about it. I don't have any dots, so screw it. There we go. So cobblestone goes out here and goes pop, 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 pop. See you later, cobs. So we will no longer have any cobblestone filling up our stuff. Yay! And um, we'll just turn delete mode on. That's a good thing. Just turn delete mode on from inside these and just delete all the cobblestone that way. So through just that, which is super simple, we've managed to get ourselves into a situation which we don't need even half of these chests now. Because there's no way that we're going to use all this cobblestone. See what I used to do in the old ticket when you had the equivalent exchange? You used to just put it all into a con... I think it was a condenser box. Whatever it was it was called. You used to just put it all into a box and... Uh, like you would just make other stuff out of it. So you wouldn't even need to... You wouldn't need to delete the cobblestone. But, oh well, doesn't matter. Or you would use a recycler. Uh, an IC2 recycler. But it's all fine. It's fine. Now we'll just turn that off and as you can see we're almost out of freaking almost out of lava already. So we're definitely going to need to find a way to get those blaze rods. Uh, anyway, I'm going to call this an episode here. So as always, thanks a lot for watching and if you have enjoyed the episode please remember to drop a like and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.